Alright y'all, what is going on guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have like a day in the life type of vlog. Maybe over the next day or two, because your boy is going to a wedding. So low-key might vlog that. Nonetheless, we're going to start this vlog off with an unboxing from No Two Ways. They sent me over one of their newest models, and this is a brand new like model like they've never released a colorway on this before this is straight new and it's not like their other models so this is more of like i don't know how to like classify i would say more of like a lifestyle like you know like a dunk jordan one type of vibe not like their other shoes where it's more like knits and stuff so this is just like a leather type shoe but plus if you're new to the channel make sure you take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button because we post every other day which is probably better than your favorite youtuber unless of course He's your favorite YouTuber. Now that all the talking is out of the way, I gotta get off this couch as soon as possible so I don't get bed bugs. But I'm joking. Be serious. I'm joking. Let's open this up. So I'm very excited about these. I'm not gonna lie. I low key might just put them on today. It's kind of what I was feeling because it is a all white shoe, so it does go with everything. Box is looking different than their other boxes. See that? Mm-hmm. You see that? Okay. Gold stripe. Gold stripe. Little hole in the front too. Oh. Ooh, look at this. That's nice. Okay, Hold packaging on. A1. Do another spin. Packaging A1 as always with no two ways. Never seen a bad packaging, but this box is literally different because I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's literally a split going down the middle. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Okay. Got a dust bag. Can't go wrong with a little dust bag. Just, depending how it looks in person, this could possibly be my favorite sneaker from no two ways. Um, so yeah, they've sent me, I think this is like the fifth or sixth sneaker now. And just from the photos I've seen of these on Instagram, like I already like these like 10 times better. So let's just open these up. And I can't wait for other colorways of these to come out. So no two ways. Hey, like let's make it like a brown colorway or something. But anyway. Let's One, one up. boom, two. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got a little book. Give me a little product overview. That's new. See, this is tough. Like it has... I'm not going to show you guys individually the pages, but it has like a little thing explaining the design and then it actually has the design elements on the inside of the pamphlet, which is really cool to me because you guys know I do go to sneaker school. So this stuff is very tough. Yeah, this is fire. It literally explain even the packaging. It, it describes the packaging That's and all tough. the things behind it. Damn, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to read this like off camera though. But this, oh, and there's pictures in the back of the shoe. Classics aren't made overnight. Now. Let's open up the sneakers. Got a little sidetrack. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Boom. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Look at these. Look at these. With a little luggage tag? Okay. It's giving LV vibes. That's mm -hmm. what it's giving. I like these. These are tough. And then look at the bottom. Oh. That is tough. It's got a stripe right here. Little arrow on it. Reminds me of Kilo with skateboard. <laughs> this is tough. Oh, it's got a little bandana print. On the actual outsole. Oh, I can see that. That's crazy. Toe box is tough. All the different paneling. Literally layers. Like, you have, like, three different layers just right here. Which is crazy. These are tough. What size are these? They sent me a 10, right? I got a size 10 in these, so I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on how they fit and stuff. So, let's try these on. Now, these are tough. Nah, this is cool. I like these. They look very classy. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, very classy. Nah, they're cool. Could probably use a nine and a half. So, I would say true to... I would say probably true to size, because I'm really a nine and a half. But I don't think their brand comes in half sizes, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. So, I think it's either a nine or a ten. I could have probably used a nine, just because it's not like their knit shoes, where it's, like, as tight. But it still fits. Like, it's not a problem. I'll be fine, but... Yeah, definitely tough though. Yeah, I really do like these ones. Shout out No Two Ways for the shoes. Appreciate y'all, as always, so thanks. All right, guys, so here's just a better look at them. They're tough. I'm not going to lie. I actually do like them a lot. Low-key, should we dye them? No. For real? No? No. Why? Because why would you dye them? Why not? What if we dunk them in, like, brown dye? You said you want to dye all of them. I know. That's why I said let's actually do it this time. I'll go to, I'll go to Walmart today and get some dye. This is tough. Yeah, I don't know if I'm wearing them right now. Let me see. Should I wear them right now? I gotta go catch a train in three minutes because, like I said, I'm going to a wedding, so. I don't think you should wear them right now. Don't wear them right now? Okay.
<laughs> all right y'all so i didn't record anything at the wedding or, or like nothing like that so i did go to target before the wedding though and gamestop so you know i'm gonna stop by target check the little mystery section i've been in a mystery mood as you're gonna see throughout the rest of this vlog so they have these really cool spongebob ones but i thought they were figures i wish they were figures and not keychains because the only keychains i really get are the anime ones so that's what i was looking for and the star wars slash spider-man ones are cool sometimes but i didn't need any from the mandalorian they had these new dragon ball ones but again i'm not the biggest dragon ball z fan so it's like i don't really need it and then i checked the manga section and they got some new stuff at target they got noragami right here which is tough i already watched the anime on it but i'm pretty sure there's more that happens after the anime if i'm not mistaken but they have omnibuses now at target which is really cool you got volumes one two three of bleach volume one two three in naruto and like i said one two three in noragami so that is really tough and i was really tempted to pick up that noragami volume but i didn't i held off just because i was like you know what i don't need it i'm probably not going to collect the whole series again because i did watch it but nothing really new besides all that stuff kind of just the same old volumes and then i really came here to look for some of the mystery things as i was saying but i wanted up finding um the sodas and i don't really buy funko sodas but it's a spider-man one so i was like you know what i need it like it's spider-man it's cool it's zombie hunter spider-man so it is a little bit different but i really want the chase version the chase is the one that will have his mask on so instead of it you know being his face with the cape he'll actually have his mask on they also had that big miles morales which i already own and then i really want these i've been on the hunt for these because i do just want either the baby yoda or the spider-man ones it's like the disney hundred years and tinkerbell for amanda but can't find them anywhere and then they have some cool dc select figures i'm not gonna lie I'm not like the craziest DC fan, but I do like love DC from like being a kid. I do like Marvel a little bit more, but DC is very close. And like those figures just make me like love DC again. Like, I don't know. I feel like they have such better action figures than Marvel. Like DC just has way better lineups, way better characters and way better just like overall design. Then found this at GameStop and some cool Inuyasha Pops, which I will definitely pick up Inuyasha Pops in another video. Not this video because I found the Naruto Funko Pop and Spider-Man 2099. Like I would have copped all these if I didn't find that Naruto Pop, but it was my grail. So happy to find it. You'll hear me talk about it later and found some mysteries. So I chose it's currently the next day i'm here with amanda she says she doesn't want to be in the video because she's fake but yeah i went to the wedding did all that stuff and you guys saw i stopped at target and gamestop but obviously i probably just did a voiceover but we got some good stuff and then amanda also surprised me with something so when we get back because we're going to the bodega right now to get some food when we get back we'll show you guys a little mystery unboxing that we got so yeah guys we're in front of, well, we're behind the mailman and he's got some Amazon packages and I just ordered something off of Amazon that's supposed to come today. So like, should I just jump him right now? <laughs> All right, we're going into the store. We're about to get some salads, right? We're getting salads? Okay. No bevs or big bevs? I'm gonna need big bevs. Do you want a big bev or you want a small bev? I'm gonna get copyrighted. Why am I gonna get copyrighted in a bodega? I never seen a banana snapple. That's I want to like disgusting. it's definitely disgusting like 100% don't you know, get it twisted. It one day, but I want to try it. One of every different flavor and we do like a taste test and we rank them. Or just get like nasty flavors. No. Why? Oh, okay. I just ordered a Philly cheesesteak on a roll. Amanda's debating now. She wanted a salad, but I low-key changed her mind. No, let me see one of the oranges. Yo, this is the size of your head. <laughs> All right, y'all. We just got some food. We got a complete opposite of what we came for. Woo! You don't want that hoodie on the side of the street? You sure? You don't want it? I might have bed bugs. <laughs> Alright y'all, so it is the next day. As you can tell, me and Amanda just went out and we got some food. But before we eat, I was like, you know what? I gotta show you guys the pickups before I open it because Amanda low-key surprised me with something and I was like, oh, it went perfect with what else I got. So you guys saw I went into GameStop and they have this. This is like my grail. Like, I don't know if you guys know, this is literally my favorite Funko Pop of all time. It's Naruto vs. Sasuke, the final fight of Naruto Shippuden. Literally, greatest moment of all time. So, I was like, yep, I've been wanting this for literally years. Um, it's just like when they first came out, they were reselling for like 100 Then they restocked them and it kind of dropped to like 50 60 I would say. That was kind of like the average price. We saw one at Comic-Con and I was going to buy it. But I was like, you know what, let me look at other little stores and stuff. And then we went back to go buy it at the end of Comic-Con and it was gone. Somebody already bought it. We asked people. That was the only one we saw throughout all of Comic-Con. So I randomly go into a GameStop, random GameStop, not even like a big one or anything. And it had two of these just sitting there on the counter. And I asked the dude, I was like, is this for sale? He was like, yeah. I was like, how much? He's like, 28. I was like, oh, say less. So we did get the anime moments, Naruto vs. Sasuke. Very excited about that. I was at Target. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that as well. And they had these Spider-Man sodas, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, and really like, I don't, I don't really care for Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, but like, I just wanted the, the one with the mask. And 
I got four Dr. Stone mysteries at GameStop with the Naruto thing because if you guys didn't see the last vlog, me and Amanda got two of them and we wound up getting two of the same characters and I was like, you know what, I'm not going out like that. I at least want one of my favorite characters. So I got four. Hopefully I got a better chance because I didn't really feel them out like that. And then Amanda surprised me with a Bleach one. So yes, there's Bleach ones and I think Attack on Titan ones came out recently and there's a third one as well. I can't remember what the Dragon other one was. Dragon Ball Z. What was it? Dragon Ball Z. It was a Dragon Ball one, right? Yeah, so the new series of Dragon Ball. I'm pretty sure these are re-releases of Bleach and then re-releases of Attack on Titan. So let's open this one up. We're going to open is the Bleach one since we have one of them. Hopefully, okay, I'm hoping we could get either Ichigo, uh, Rukia would be cool, uh, Kisuke, or Renji, honestly. Those are like the main four I'd want. Um, and then I don't know what the exclusive are. The exclusive looks like it's Kenpachi, and I can't tell what the other one is. So, yeah, this is who we want. Ichigo. Watch oh, it in the front. Ichigo. Rukia. Oh, shoot, we got Kisuke! Let's go! We got Kisuke! Hey! I'm happy about this one. This is literally the one that I wanted. Dr. Stone time. If you don't know who I want, we want Senku. Eh, I want Senku, Sukiya, or um, Gen. So, either these two at the top, or my boy right there. Be tight. Off rip. Off rip, we got the one I wanted. Woo! No, we didn't get him last time. Okay, I couldn't remember. Because <laughs> they all have the same fit. Boom, we got Chrome right here. Wow, I'm just speaking into existence. We got Senku. Hey! Damn. We ain't get again. But it's not a three. So. Damn, that means we got five now. Because I bought four and then we have two dupes. But. Not bad. I really want him with the mask on. Because I have the Funko Pop of him with the mask. Bior got it for me for my birthday. Ready? Please, I'm the under Spider-Man Chase. <laughs> Man, they really wrap these now. They never used to, when I got the Naruto one, he was literally just like thrown in the can. Cause I have the Naruto one up there. But, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. He's cool. So there's Spider-Man with a cape. All right, so I decided to go to work with Amanda. And what I mean by that is just get on the train with her and get off at Bryant Park so I could go to the manga store because like I said, I've been in a mystery mood. So we're going to get those bag clips because that is where Amanda went yesterday. She actually went to the manga store without me and surprised me with the little bleach bag clip. And I was like, damn, you know what? I'm gonna go back and buy some before they're gone because they rarely get bag clips. Like when they do, they're there for like a day or two because everybody just buys them because you know, they're, they're literally mystery, like $5 mystery. So people just throw them in with their purchases. So I was like, you know what? I need to go back now because clearly they restocked them all they have spongebob ones and random ones but i'm gonna get three attack on titan ones so i could get you know from that series and i'm gonna get two more bleach ones since amanda already bought me one because i don't need to get the whole series like i'm not trying to buy the entire series there's certain like ones i will like all the naruto ones i try to get but like you know i just want like the main characters i really like from these series but found these two statues which is really tough and then the funko pop section been the same for weeks so nothing too crazy chainsaw man section is getting stepped up i'm not gonna lie they're bringing in a lot of stuff they had this pochita but it was like $27 for this little thing which you'll see what I found for, you know, 20 bucks when we get home. But uh yeah, and then I found these two Naruto mystery pins. Don't know what they are, so well, I mean, hey, let's buy them and see what we get. All right, y'all. So, I'm back home. This vlog has been all over the place. You guys saw I literally me and Amanda got food, all that stuff, blah blah. You saw me open some stuff earlier. And then, you know what? I was like, you know what? I want to go back to the manga store cuz that's where Amanda got the the leech mystery things and i was like you know what i'm gonna pick up a few more just because i know that they're not gonna be there for like the next like literally when the manga store gets stuff like that especially like name brand stuff like bleach attack on titan it's mainly there for like one to two days max because everybody comes in and just buys it and then they don't restock it for like months so i was like you know what I'm just gonna go with her while she goes to work because it's on the way to her job. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go stop by the manga store. And then I find, wound up finding some cool things as well. And then I also do got a quick little unboxing from Amazon. Kind of pretty random, but it has to do with, you know, the stuff that goes on the shelves and everything. So yeah, this will be the ending of the video though. So we did get a lot of stuff in this video, a lot of random stuff from sneakers to figures to mysteries, all types of things. So first thing we got 
was this right here. I saw this Dr. Stone figure and I was like, yup, need that. You guys literally saw I opened some Dr. Stone mysteries earlier. I've been in a Dr. Stone mood just because the new season's been out and I've been watching it weekly. And actually when I'm recording this, the new episode just came out. So probably gonna watch it once I'm done with this. And you know what? I saw this and I was like, yeah, I need it. I want it. It is for season three, I believe, because it has, um, what's his name in it too. So yeah, we're gonna open this one up. I'm gonna put it on the shelf above. And then we got a bunch of little mysteries again. This time I got two more bleach ones. So hopefully we don't get a dupe. I'm just trying to get like three of each series for the most part. I'm, I'm good with the Dr. Stone ones. I don't really need any other ones besides again, I kind of wanted, but yeah. And then Attack on Titan, hopefully we could just get Eren. That's really all I care about. Eren, either, you know, Eren, Mikasa, Attack on, Attack Titan, Eren. That's pretty much it. Like any of those three and I'll be happy. So hopefully we didn't get dupes. I didn't feel them too, too much. I kind of just like felt to make sure they weren't duplicates. So hopefully they're not dupes. And then in the 50% off bin, I found these two random, I guess they're pins and it says Naruto on it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it. So yeah, hopefully they're different. I don't even know what they look like. I don't know what type of pin it is. I don't know what's on it. It's definitely a circle pin though. But I just don't know like what the design on it is. Who is the bleach one? Just hopefully we don't get Kisuke again. I uh, really want Ichigo. Just honestly anybody. I like all the characters in this, so. Alright, cool. I'm not mad at it. Second one. We got this one right here. We got Uryu. Uryu. I can't even say his name, but you know, if you watch Bleach, you know who this is. Next. Okay. Alright, got Biakia. We got Biakia. I'm not mad at it. He's kind of just a, like, eh, like he's dope. Don't get it twisted. He's fire, but. I don't know. This is my little, my little bin of things. I keep them by series. So I got all the Dr. Stone ones right here. I got a whole Naruto series completed right here. I have other random Naruto ones right here. And then we can add it to the bleach one. So these are the three bleach ones we got. You guys saw me open this one earlier. You already know who I want. Let's get into it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, we got Aaron right off the bat. Let's go, we got Aaron. Damn, he looks tough. With the green eyes too? Damn. Nah, that's tough. I'm happy. I'm already I'm already satisfied. Because if I get a duplicate, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, we got the We got the yo, my luck today has been crazy. My luck today has been crazy. I got all the ones I wanted from Dr. Stone earlier. I got the bleach some of the bleach ones I wanted. And now the attack on Titan ones. Okay, I got literally the two. These are the two that I wanted the most. Now I don't have to keep buying the series. Now I literally don't have to keep buying the series. Let's see if we can pull a Mikasa maybe. Oh, Levi. Okay. That's actually W. That's actually a W. I'm not gonna lie. We got Levi. That's tough. Levi right there. So I ain't mad at it at all. Now these are the two that I'm nervous about because I don't even know what they are. They were 50% off though and I was like, screw it. Alright, let's see. It says Naruto Boruto on it, so maybe it'll have Boruto characters too. Oh, it does have Boruto characters. We got Mitsuki. It's actually kind of cool. It's got Mitsuki on it. He looks grown though. Looks like adult Mitsuki. Looks like... Damn. Look at him. The pin's pretty cool too. It's not bad. Maybe we can get a Boruto? I'll be happy with him. Okay, and it was two of the same. I should've known. I should've known. Yep. My luck ran out. He's just such a dope character. Boom, tough. And now we got a little Amazon order pickup because I felt like a lot of my shelves were flat, if that makes sense. Like I have like a lot of figures on the Naruto shelf and stuff. So I felt like, you know, if I get some risers and stuff like that, it could help out. But let's see what we got. So right here, this is the two sets of acrylic displays. So these are little acrylic stands. Um, and then I got some book stoppers as well for my manga because the ones on my shelves, my shelves don't have ends, if that makes sense. They're kind of open shelves. So I just needed stuff so my manga don't fall off the sides of the shelves. And then we got a Funko Pop right here. So I got this Funko Pop, like I said, for literally $7. It's like a $27 Funko Pop. Um, and it's like, it has a whole series and a set that goes to it. It's like one of those like build a moment things, but I don't want the whole moment. I just wanted the one little Funko cause it looks cool. And it's this one right here. Then we got the Sinister Six Spider-Man. So this is really cool. I don't know how this thing was worth $30 originally, but glad I got it for seven. So $7 for this, not bad at all. And yeah, I'm, I'm taking this out of box. I'm not keeping it in the box. Spider-Man just came out today when I'm recording this, the new movie. So me and Amanda are going to see it this weekend, but this is fire. 
He is tough. Look at that. On a little brick, and he's like in his little action pose. And the oh, look at that. It's like mirror. That's cool. Yeah, they're clear. They are translucent. It's just they have the wrap on them right now, so you peel the wrap off. But yeah, just little stands, just to like elevate my figures. So say like he was on this, then I could put like a Spider-Man in front of him, basically. So yeah, and it's all different sizes too. They get smaller as they go down, which is pretty nice as well. So if something's a little bit smaller figure, it's a bigger figure. And I got two sets of them. So we have six things to rise stuff with. And then like I said, these ones are for my manga just because I needed some more book stoppers. All right, Chelsea, so I'm about to put the acrylic stands on the shelves. I'm gonna see if I can just elevate this little section right here just to see, you know, I don't know. I just don't like how there's like all the space at the top, if that makes sense. So it's like, this one's not as much because you got that big thing behind it, but like some of them, I don't know. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'm probably not gonna use them all right now, but eventually. And then I wound up putting Senku up here because I've been kind of just putting the figures I've been getting up on top of these ones because I don't really have shelf room for them. And then I'm gonna have to redo the Spider-Man section as well. So, yeah. I'm on a road, I can't get caught. I'm a bit different stage. Hop my mama blowing on my phone, seeing if I'm okay. I had to get up out the hood, finding.